this is Julie Ellison with Climbing Magazine coming to you from Boulder Canyon, Colorado. The topic of this video is the knots used when rappelling. There are two knots I'm going to teach you. The first is the flat overhand. That's used when you want to join two ropes to do a double rope rappel. The second knot is the triple barrel and that's the knot you want to put in the end of both ropes so that you don't rappel off the end. So to tie the flat overhand, I've already threaded one rope through the anchor and with the ends that are close, I'm going to match them up, pull 15 inches of tail out and just tie an overhand. So just make a loop, go through it with the ends. And then like any knot, you want to properly dress it. And this one you can just pull really tight, as tight as you can, kind of in all directions, each strand. And you don't want any big gaps, no cross strands. And that's a well-dressed knot. So then I'm going to snug it up against the anchors. And this knot has the misnomer of being the Euro death knot. That's because there's a fear that it can roll over on itself all the way off the end and actually completely come untied. That myth has basically been debunked. And if you leave at least 12 to 18 inches of tail, then you'll be totally safe. There's actually a benefit of it rolling a little bit in that when you're pulling it down, it's a lot less likely to get stuck on flakes and bushes. The second knot we're going to learn is the triple barrel knot. You want to tie that in the ends of both ropes. So to tie that, I'm going to come about 15 inches from the end, wrap towards my fingers once, back towards my palm twice, all the way around, and then slide it off. And the tail needs to go back down through all the loops. Just pull it tight. Make sure all the coils are nice and stacked neatly against each other. You want at least three to four inches of tail, so this is plenty. And in the other one, like I said, put, tie it in both ropes. Once towards your fingers, twice back, come all the way around. And then the tail goes back down through. Pull it tight, dress it by making sure the coils are against each other. I got at least three to four inches of tail. So I'm good, and I'm gonna start coiling it to toss it. Rope.